everybody, Tim here from Workshop 12 and today we wanted to give everybody a quick update on what is included in version 3.7 of the Brainiac home screen that we just launched. Uh, mainly this is just a bug fix release but we did manage to uh, uh, put in a couple other little tweaks here and there as we're working along. Uh, so let's just get right into it and show you what's been updated in the software. Okay, let's get into it here. So. The very first thing that uh, we wanted to go over and the main reason for being able to get this update out is that we were having issues when we were having people plug in any kind of USB accessory that wasn't ones that we were, were expecting. So if you're using something like uh, an Apple CarPlay dongle, a USB key, some other different type of uh, USB accessory, Brainiac kept prompting you every time that it was plugged in to be able to reconnect and give you permissions to that device, even though we didn't know what to do with that device that was plugged in. Very annoying and in those cases, if we actually tried to capture that USB port, then those USB accessories would not work. So that's one of the main things that we have corrected. So if we see here, I'll plug in just a regular USB key. There's no prompt that's onto the screen. Um, if I plug in the Apple CarPlay dongle, now we can see that there's going to be a prompt that comes up, but that prompt is going to be for just the app that's expecting um, that, um, that dongle that comes in. So it's only prompting up for uh, itself. So any kind of third party accessory plugged in now should be just ignored. We've put in a white list of the devices that we're expecting. So we put in um, as many vendor IDs and product IDs from the adrenal boards that people are using for the relay kit. Um, we will be having our own little uh, relay board or our Arduino board that is integrated and goes right straight with the, uh, um, the relays and that way you don't have to do any kind of pin moving or anything like that in here. I have a nice little plastic housing for it. But in this case, if we take the USB that comes in from it and we plug that into our system, we'll see that we get a prompt, but that prompt is now for Brainiac. Um, so the right prompt is coming in when we're plugging in an accessory that we recognize and not others. So as an example here too, we've got a little CAN bus connector that uh, Gerald's working on for both FRS owners uh, that have an um, Android head unit or using a very similar one for what we're doing for Genesis for reading in um, the uh, climate control display information. You know, we plug that into the system right we get the same brainiac uh request and we've got our climate control board here too from an frs with old diagnostics port plugged into it at the moment and if we plug that one into the system we can see that it's going to give us the same brainiac request to be able to give permissions to that device that we recognize it so that is the core uh, main changes that we've made in this to try to resolve those, uh, those issues. We've snuck in a couple other things. Uh, yes, I know we uh, had one where right now we've got a global volume up in the top right corner. Um, but if you're in other applications, say like as in my uh, music app, that's top right corner is the search. So I can't get to the search. So there's different apps that I use all the time that might not like that global volume where it is. So if we go back into uh, our settings here, and we take a look at our gesture settings, we can actually now say, well, I can turn on or off that global display volume right here, um, but I can also now say I want it in the vault bottom right instead of in the top uh, right corner. So now if I'm in a different application here and I want my bottom right, I can now get that in any application that I'm in inside, the, uh, inside of the software. Another thing that we have done based off of feedback, uh, we were putting a Brainiac logo on the background of the device, which different people didn't want. Sometimes they run our application not as a home screen, um, so they just want it as an app they can launch every now and again. It keeps changing their background for them. But as you can see now, we actually are allowing uh, the main uh, background of whatever you have set on the device uh, in there. We're not changing that anymore in the system. So that gives you those settings as well. 
Um, we did get asked for uh, a couple other things that we're able to sneak in. Um, so one of them was in the quick launch settings, being able to run a new or add a new logo. So we had asked for the midship runabout logo here that's been added now into the system. So that was an extra one that was put into there. Uh, if we take a look as well, we've done a couple other things. We had some more icons asked for in the relay configuration. So if we take a look inside of here, we now have three more icons, one for power windows, one for the trunk, and one for a fuel system as well. So we've snuck those in. Those were quick, easy ads for us to be able to put back into the system. So those are the main updates that are in version 3.7 uh, main bug fixes for you know these usb accessories that people were using um, if you are using an arduino board and we did not get your right vendor id and product id in there let us know we'll make sure that we get that into the whitelist um, but that is the main updates for version 3.7 and there you have it. Uh, that's what's all included in version 3.7 of Brainiac software release. Uh, we've still got lots of other things that we are working on, still working hard on getting all that climb control ready to go for the FRS and BRZ. We're really close to being able to do some different uh, beta testing. Gerald's been testing it with his car and it's been working well there. We have a local person that we probably will be working with to be able to do some beta testing as well. Um, getting really close to opening up pre-orders for, uh, for our FRS kit. So, uh, do stay tuned. Hopefully we'll have some updates there really shortly for you. So thanks a lot everybody and uh, we'll see you in the next video.